Vladimir Putin, it's been reported that a former Russian colonel by the name of Viktor Baranets, he was a former Russian colonel and defense ministry spokesman, he is claiming, and I quote, that Vladimir Putin has planted deep sea mole nukes near the U.S. capable of causing a tsunami, and this is why. A former Russian colonel and defense ministry spokesman claims Putin is burying sleeper nukes off the coast of America. Viktor Baranets said that in an event of a war, the bombs would be detonated and cause a tsunami that would wipe out much of the coastal U.S. Baranets admitted there is no way for Russia to outspend America on defense, so the military is forced to go to extreme lengths to make sure they come out on top. Other moves designed to outfox the U.S. are nuclear missiles, which can be steered in the air, meaning their trajectory cannot be calculated. He said Russia is focused on developing an asymmetrical response to America, ensuring both countries would be destroyed in the event of an attack by either. What the heck? Thanks, mm. Russia. <laughs> Goodness gracious. He goes on to say... Our asymmetrical response is nuclear warheads that can modify their course and height so that no computer can calculate their trajectory. Or, for example, he says, the Americans are deploying their tanks, airplanes, and special forces battalions along the Russian border. We are quietly seeding the U.S. shoreline with nuclear mole missiles. They dig themselves in and sleep until they are given the command. Oh, it seems I've said too much. He interrupted himself by saying before adding, I should hold my tongue. Wow. Yikes. He said a lot. That's too much, he said. That's too much. Hold his tongue. Oops. Oops. After you just vomited all that out, (laughs) you can't put that in. Well, he seems like he's not messing around. No. He said he probably has... talking about Vladimir? Yes, that he has nukes around America, so tsunamis. Yeah. I mean, that's why they were so close to the electrical lines on there. Okay. You know. So. Do you all remember the headline mm-hmm. that we reported last year? Mm-hmm. Russian submarines were spotted off the coast of the U.S. during the Obama administration. You had the mouthpiece of the Obama administration. I got to remember I gotta remember the fellow's name. He said, he, he, he confirmed mm-hmm. Russian subs are, at the, uh, are off the coast of the U.S. under our waters. They're probably just messing around with some cables. Some of oh, our cables. And they now you have the Obama administration saying the reason why is because they're probably looking to see how they could cut off the cables uh, to, to stop any communication between us needing to, to communicate with our nuclear technology. Uh, so that that was kind of, that was it. It's all, you know, it was not a big deal. Everybody go back and watch Seinfeld. <laughs> but now we know that they were underneath our waters, not only checking our cables to try to cut them, but planting these moles. These sleeper nukes. Sleeper nukes, yeah. What in the world? A sleeper nuke? We've heard of sleeper cells. Mm-hmm. We've heard Those of are... sleeper, you know. Anyway, I can. I was going to make jokes. But this isn't really a time to joke. This is serious. No, they, they, were cl- they were underwater next to our, what was it, California? Was it California? It's all around. They were in off Georgia. the coast of Georgia. You yeah. remember that? And, yeah. Off the coast of Alaska. No, that was China. Let me make no, sure I'm saying this Alaska. right. But Russia, no, Russia was off the coast of, a, of, of, no, of, of Alaska. Okay, Chinese was off the coast on their ship. Russia mm. flew by with their TU-95 bear bombers. I got to make sure I'm getting mm. this right. But they have been under our waters around the coast. Make no mistake about it. They were just spotted off the coast of Georgia. Just because they weren't spotted off the coast of California doesn't mean they weren't there. They were there. They were there. We are there. We're, we're, we're. They're ready to light us up. Yeah. I think their submarine said Time Warner or Charter. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they said, okay, they're fine. But. <laughs> That's horrible. That's... A little slap on magnets, slap it off. Instead of Russian flag, they, they put on Time Warner. No, they. That is crazy. Now That's that horrible. he spit that out, I mean. What are you going to do, Trump? Okay. Go try to find these nukes? Yeah. Yeah, I would suggest that's a good idea. Yes. You know, they should have some kind of expand it um what's that called metal detector you know <laughs> a big one and get a, oh, yeah. some some of our navy mm-hmm. seals down there or whoever goes underwater from the military mm-hmm. and get those suckers out um you know d d d um Let's disassemble them disassemble them yeah. right i don't know how make they can them, do it because it's not I their make but um it's it's that's just one of the issues mm-hmm. honey 
He goes, okay, besides the sleeper nukes, they apparently also have this asymmetrical response, ensuring both countries, both the U.S. and Russia, would be destroyed in the event of an attack by either. Again, he said, the one who should have held his tongue, he says, our asymmetrical response is nuclear warheads that can modify their course and height so that no computer can calculate their trajectory. So, God forbid, Russia throws up one of these asymmetrical responses to America, launches a nuclear warhead. The U.S. Uh, goes on the alert, you know, alert, alert. Uh, this nuclear warhead, uh, everybody has about 30 to 40 minutes or up to an hour, hour and a half to try to find a bunker, uh, go to the closest shelter before hit, right? Before, before basically getting yeah. hit by a nuclear warhead. It could change. Nobody would be able to track this thing. It could hit anywhere. Anywhere, that's all. That's asymmetrical. Yeah, it's... <laughs> That's Hopefully, amazing. It's amazing, yes. Yeah. And does it use it have something like that? Yeah. I don't well, know. they're working on it right now since we <laughs> since we um since the the story broke, you know. I mean US must have something. Both sides that must have something to, It doesn't matter you know. if we have honey, please forgive yeah. me. Forgive me, folks, but mm -hmm. forgive me to my love, okay? Mm -hmm. Honey, if they have if we have something, would it matter? This is designed, this asymmetrical response from Russia is right. designed yes. to destroy both nations in an attack mm -hmm. by either. This is sick. Or, for example, the Americans are deploying their tanks, airplanes, and special forces battalion along the Russian border. We are quietly seeding the U.S. shoreline with nuclear mole missiles, sleeper nukes. They dig themselves in. They dig themselves in. So even you, you had no Russian Navy SEALs going in and digging in the sleeper cells. They the moles, dig, yeah, they dropped them off, and the moles dug themselves in like moles. That's why they're yeah. called. This is insane. This is crazy stuff. So they dig themselves in and sleep. Take a nap. We'll wake you up when it's time. Can can we send us some kind of uh, you know virus to this to these things? I mean, if they, if they know how to do it, I mean, the U.S. I don't know. I mean, he just spit spit, spit something out. Unless he wants the U.S. to be on on that watch to go look for these things and waste the time. <sighs> Maybe they're not there. I mean, but. I mean the way you they said were we cutting. You to take Russia more seriously. That's oh what you yeah, said. the way they were saying they were cutting cables. Um, oops, you caught me cutting cables. But in mm. the meantime, they dropped these moles and they were, you know, digging themselves in. You know, it's it's pretty scary. Yeah. To know that, along with nuclear blasts, you can have tsunamis. Yeah, that's great. So that's that's you, what nightmares are made of. End time dreams. Oh yeah, that's yeah. exactly. I mean, if you didn't get nuked, you survive, but you're gonna drown with the tsunamis coming in. I mean, I, it's, I, it's, are you saved? I think we need to find out if these folks are saved. Because this stuff is happening. Look, folks, we're not reading to you from a novel, you know, from one of those suspense thriller books or, you know, you're not watching a movie. This is headlines, um, facts that are coming in, in this case, from a former Russian colonel who is spilling the beans for some reason. Will he be alive next week? I don't know. The Lord protect him. But uh, the thing is, is that Are you saved? You know? Or are you born again? Is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Honey, we need to get these people saved. Yes. They need to be saved. Yep. Yeah.